You're watching Channel 3 this Friday morning. I'm Dom Amato. I'm Alexandra Montgomery. Since 2016, Vermont's water has grappled with cleaning out contaminated PFAS chemicals in public water systems. Treatment and temporary solutions are underway in many Vermont communities. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live with an update on the issue and what's being done in one rural town. Good morning. Good morning, Dom and Alexandra. Now, PFAS are a group of man-made chemicals, and they're in just about everything we use, from food packaging to furniture to firefighting foam. They don't break down easily, and they stay in the environment and the water for a very long time. The Department of Health says PFAS exposure could lead to developmental effects and cancer, just to name a few. Craftsbury Commons water system is one of 20 public systems statewide that have exceeded the state standards for the amount of PFAS in the water. Water. Fill up the teapot here. Gina Campoli is making tea the same way she has since December 2021. Using water out of the jug, she picks up once a week from down the road. You can do laundry, you can shower, but anything to, anything that's going in your mouth, I like to say, that yeah. all the uh, drinking water is bottled water. That's because Craftsbury Commons public water system is contaminated with PFAS chemicals. Campoli says the sources impacting the water are still under investigation. Regardless, 300 people, including those attending the K-12 Craftsbury Academy and Sterling College have not been permitted to drink the water for over a year and a half. It makes life really difficult for the uh, kitchen staff. They have to use the bottled water and jugs. Since January 2022, the state has spent up to $50,000 delivering these three and five gallon bottles to the area once a week. It's a daily and, and really weekly rhythm of replenishing the water yes. and being really cognizant of, um, you know, not doing the things you would normally do when you turn on the tap. Like when we have uh, teams coming in for basketball games and, and other other events with people coming in from the outside that may not know, oh, there's not going to be any water there. The Craftsbury Fire District number two has been working to find a new source to connect water to this pump house. In 2021, voters in the district supported a bond to get a state loan up to $730,000 so far. They've drilled two new wells. One came up dry and the other didn't have enough clean water. They're hoping third time's a charm as opposed to treating the water. Now, if this well doesn't come up with the quantity we need, that that option may be on the table. The, the long-term operating costs of that are daunting. You know, we would need a building. We would need an, a full-time operator. We um, wouldn't be able to fit it in there. Oh yeah, no, we know, we know, there's nowhere to do it in here. And they're not alone, with 20 of the state's public water systems exceeding safe standards. Experts say six public water systems are under do not drink orders, just like Craftsbury Commons. And the Woodbury School in the same supervisory union is on its own water system, but that's contaminated and been deemed undrinkable since October. Unlike Craftsbury, there's no water district working to fix the problem. Houston and school staff are working with the state to figure out how to treat the water or how to find a new source. We're kind of just in the first steps of that whole thing, so hopefully that won't take as long as it has here in Craftsbury, but uh, right now we're prepared for it. It might be a little while before we do. Yep. Nationally, the EPA is drafting drinking water regulations and model legislation is also being developed that addresses PFAS in all products. The draft regulations for the EPA, if they went into place today, would increase Vermont's number of contaminated systems by 25. And here in Vermont, Act 36 goes into law this July. That bans certain products like firefighting foam and carpets from containing PFAS. Live in the studio, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.